Hello and welcome to another fine how to video from Class 47 Peter. And it's been a while since I last did one, but this one is going to be more interesting from the last one. Because I'm going to show you how to add passengers into a DMU or rail car. Today I'm going to be putting the seated passengers into a rail car. Now you can put them in carriages as well, but I'm not going to be doing that. Instead I'll just add them to DMUs or rail cars. And the model that we're going to be using today for this video is the GWR rail car, which you all by now would have seen the review, which is now up on YouTube. And I did say in that video that I was going to add a driver and some seated passengers in this. But now I've also had another idea. I'm going to add a ticket inspector inside here as well. Because that will look really rather cool. Now I have already added some seating passengers to a model. And that is the BR Green Class 121 with speed whiskers. As you can see, there's a driver in the cab. You cannot forget the driver, he is the most important. In real life, of course. And as you can see, I know I've shown this before loads of times, but there are seated passengers that go all the way down in the unit. And that looks really rather cool. And plus, it makes them look realistic. Now, I do also plan to stick them in the Chilton bubble car as well. However, that will not be done until I get the lights pack from Express Models, which is now on a back order because they were out of stock and so I've got to wait for them. And this will be a how-to video, sort of, but it will be a step-by-step -step as well. But I'm going to add the seats and passengers last because if I put them in first, I may be in for a nightmare. So, that's going to be something I'm going to be doing in the future. Now, like I say, you can also do this with DMUs. Here's one of which that I plan to do. Two. The 158 in a Reva livery from Batman. And it really is a nice model. I don't know when I'll be adding the seated passengers in yet. But I will do. But I may have to buy some more. Because... I have two packs of them. They're both packs of 20, so altogether I have 40. Now, n not an entire bag is going to be used on the GWR rail car, of course. Some will be used in the 121 in Chilton livery, and hopefully, there will be enough to fit in the Arriva 158. Both cars, obviously. Now, I did also plan to add them in the Ereva 153 as well. Just a sec. I do have the model in my hand. There we go. I was just cleaning a bit of dirt off it. So here's the Ereva 153 and to those who think that you haven't seen much of it, well you have now. You last saw it in the Branch Line Services Recreated throughout the years video which went down really rather well. Now, like I say, I did plan to put some seated passengers on the inside of this one, but I have now heard that it's not on impossible to take the bodies off. I don't know that if it's true, because I've not actually took the body off yet. But I will see, and if it's easy to come off, then I will add some passengers and a driver in this. If not, it will be left how it is. Now, Sometimes you can, if you want to, paint the seats inside these units, but alas, I'm not really going to do that. There was, in a Hornby magazine, in a feature called the £20 Project, which hasn't been featured in the magazines recently, but it showed how to slightly improve one of these by weathering it and putting some passengers on the inside of it. And the guy who did it did paint the seats, but I think it's a bit pointless really, because I just like to leave them unpainted. 
but it's entirely up to you what you do with the models but the seats will be left unpainted I did paint the seats in a couch once before but I don't really see much of the point of that to be honest but anyway so I think I've spoken long enough let's get down to business so what we're going to need for this video is obviously the GWR rail car we're also going to need a disposable plastic bowl which I've shown in several of my detailing videos and they look like top hats or bowler hats whatever and then PVA glue I actually have several of these tubs but this is one that I've been using mostly you will also need a brush preferably a brush this size you can go small if you want to but that's the smallest brush I have you will also need the homemade loco cradle made of sponges the reason I have this one is because the original one it had residue in it and it was all dirty and I did try to wash it but to no avail so I made one out of sponges I know you can get a rotating one but I don't really see much of the point of that one I prefer this one a homemade one because it does the job and I don't really care what anybody else thinks we'll also need one of the packs of seated passengers obviously not all of them will be used then also a driver for the cab this actually came from a pre of figures set I will just want to point out now and this is just to show you the packaging for these is terrible I tried to get one of them open but it was not impossible to do so using my fingers because it is hard to do so and I had to try and use an object like a screwdriver to prise under it but of course I actually broke one of these tubs in the process that's how bad it is why don't Prisa figures go for this type of packaging that Hornby use there's a bit of dust on it there you know this is much better and it's easily to open but anyway and then the ticket inspector that was originally a locomotive crew of some sort but since I don't really put them in my models anyway he will do the job as a ticket inspector excuse the blue tack on the bottom of him yeah there we go so as you can see he is actually a metal figure as well just to confirm anyway let's get started right first if you just move all this stuff out of the way we can get the loco cradle into shot and the GWR rail car now to get the body off it's quite simple there's no screws actually no sorry there is two screws sorry about that then but sorry about that then I got interrupted but as we say there are two screws on the bottom I didn't think there were but there are let's just get some dust off the side okay so the first thing we're going to do is to place the model inside the cradle this is probably the first video you'll see on YouTube of taking the body off a GWR rail car. And then if you can, get a pair of tweezers and pick the screw out, like so. 
then do the same with the other. There you go. Right, the screws are now out, but we're not done getting the body off because you need to pull the buffers off. Only God knows how easy this is going to be. There we go. There's one off. Right, we didn't see that on camera, probably. But it doesn't matter. You just do it like that. Okay. So there's one bufferless end, if you want to call it. And there we go. All four buffers are now out. So I'll bring the cradle back into shot. There we go. That wasn't easy, but it is done. Okay. Uh, now the cab has fallen at the one end. So regardless, I will have to be careful. Okay, so it's over there. We don't need this now, not yet. I'll just move the buffers to one side, and so there we go. Have you ever seen a GWR rail car like that? So as you can see, there's the motor. And that's where you put the chip into when you're taking it out. This is the guard compartment end, but the cab is in that end anyway. Over there. But either way, we need to stick the passengers in, so... We will stick the driver in first. Now there's two seats in there, clearly, so this is where the bowl comes into shot and the glue. Now you will need a fair amount, not too much like I've done in the past. So the glue isn't needed, so that goes to one side, then we'll get our brush. Just dab it on, then we'll get the driver and we will place some glue on his behind. And we will place him here, like so. Actually, we're going to need a bit more glue. And there we go, so the driver's now in the cab. And so now we'll stick the passengers in. Okay. Just take that out of shop for a sec. Here's the bag. There's the empty bag, don't throw it in the bin. Because spares left over you'll be putting in later. So just pick out the ones you want to use, like for example we'll start with this one.
place it on their bum and just stick them where you want basically here's a woman do the same with her ok so that's two passengers in so far There is another female that looks like on the 80s, and I'm, and I'm gonna do her. That just seems really wrong. Again, glue on the arse. Again, that just sounds really weird, but mm, don't care. And there she goes. floor then. So already there is a few passengers in there. We'll get a few more in. This is a good time to use the tweezers. And that is basically how you do it. Might get just a few more in. And then rest over as I'll stick in the 158. I know I've left the bowl out of shot, but who cares? Okay, so the passengers are now in. Right, leftovers can go back in the sealed bag. Because they can be used again. So there we go, and I will buy more of these. So now we're going to put the ticket inspector in. So he will go about there. Now, glue will be a bit tricky for this one, so on a very late notice glue dots which apparently this was the inspiration behind creation blue tack was just get one of these and Stick it on the figure. And there you go. Perfect. Now leave those to dry.
Right, well, the glue is now dry. So now, we need to put the body back on. Which shouldn't be too difficult, he said. Okay, right, well, first of all, we might as well get this rear cabin. There we go. Okay. Right, there we go. So. Now if we... Get the buffers back. Because in order for the body to fix in permanently, if that's what you want to call it, the buffers need to go back in because they help to hold the body in. There you go, so the first two are in. Nice. Okay. So, all the buffers are now back on. So now, we bring the Roco cradle back into shop. And if we just rest it like that, that'll do. Here's the screws. Okay. There we go, there's one in. Right now for the second screw. There we go.
we go. And it's done. Ta-da! So as you can see, at the front, there's the driver. And you can see the passengers in there. There's the ticket inspector. Of course, there's no passengers in that end. That's the guards compartment. But you can see the people. Just wait for the camera to focus a bit. There we go. Look at that. And there is one there. You can just about make out the face. But anyway, now that is realism. And it looks. And it's details like that that makes it realistic, if you know what I mean. So now all that's left to do is we will put it back on the tracks and we'll run it with these people inside. Just to point out, I know the driver might be in a weird position, but you know, it was either that or there, but I think it looks really cool there. But anyway. Let's put it back on the tracks and run it. Right, there we go. It's on. And just look at that. And there she goes. As you can see, there's the Chilton Bubble Car and the Pride of the Fleet. Commonwealth of Australia. But that's not really important now. Just look at that. You can see the people. Even still from this angle. Now I can't get any further with the camera because the tripod is in the way. You can't see it, but I have made it a bit smaller. If that made any sense. But just look at this. And as for the rest of the passengers, which are here. These are going to be used in another DMU or rail car. I might use them in the 158 or the 153, depending if I can get the body off, I don't know. But I will work something out, but if they are added to the 153, there will not be a video on it. Because it will be exactly the same as this. When I come to putting the passengers in the 158 I will probably do a how to video then because with that one you take the roof off so it is slightly different so instead I'll have it as a blog post what do you think? but anyway wow. now the GWI rail car looks even more superb with the passengers a driver and a ticket inspector inside there And I hope this video has taught you a great deal, not just to get bodies off trains, but also how to add passengers in them as well, and a driver. Just like with this one. And the BR Green Bubble Car. Anyway, this is Class 47 Peter signing off. I hope you've enjoyed this video, as I've enjoyed doing this myself, and I'll see you later.